Corvus here with another vlog entry, a bit of a general update on myself and on the hobby and on the channel. Uh, it's been a bit quiet here, it's been a couple of weeks since my last video, uh, which is basically caused by me just doing a lot of painting. Uh, sometimes I feel more like editing videos and making videos, sometimes I feel like painting or I feel like not painting or doing any videos at all. But anyway, I've been working on the Malifaux set of which I've shown you a few videos here and there, which is finished uh, in the meantime. Um, if you check the video description, there's a link to, uh, to my website where you can see uh, the pictures of the finished product. And the cool thing was this was a commission, so uh, it brought in a bit of money, which I totally put back into the hobby, which is always nice to uh, to have some commissions now and then, just to have some spare money to put into the hobby. And one of the things I bought with it was, oops, one of these. So basically, the pro pro lights has three uh, three tubes in it so the daylight lamp very big thing it's not not yet installed here this box is empty by the way um, we'll install it later tonight really looking forward to working with that light uh, maybe I'll shoot a separate video about uh, the installation and how it how it looks and my experiences with the, with this light we're really looking forward to working with it now currently I have these uh, these cheap IKEA lamps not the IKEA but cheap bought them somewhere very cheap uh, I have two of them, I have one just coming in from the top and then I have this one usually just, just above my hands when, I, when I'm painting. But sometimes, yeah, it feels like that's not, not even enough and this is, I think it's in total 250 watts of light. Well, these two lights, they're both of them are 60 watts, I think, bulbs. I think 60 watts, so that's 120, this is more than double the light that I already have. Uh, so a bit of money went into this one and the other uh, the other money I will use for a next project which is going to be a Lord of the Rings army which is yeah something really really different than I than what I used to do um, still working on uh, the Age of Sigmar stuff by the way doing a batch of 20 of these guys and I really want to finish them as soon as possible so that I can start working on uh, on the Lord of the Rings project I have in mind there's still some stuff uh, underway, um, been ordering some some miniatures on GW site, and then looking for some uh, out of print stuff on uh, on eBay. There's a lot of miniatures that you can buy on the on the GW site, or you can buy them, but they're in fine cast, which is uh, really something I don't want to to use for gaming. But maybe in short, how I got into uh, into this this Lord of the Rings idea. Is that I think it was April, late April, that I was invited uh, by a group of Lord Rings players uh, from a store in in, in Hasseltier in Belgium, a store called uh, Oberon. Uh, so I went there to give a give a, um, a painting workshop, and then a while ago, uh, the guy who organized the workshop, uh, Werner, he asked me to to come to one of their club evenings to uh, to have an introductory game of uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, I knew the rules already a bit because I did some uh, some Hobbit uh, stuff, the project you might remember. did some Hobbit stuff uh, I think two years ago, played a few games here and there. But uh, anyway, yeah, just fun game to do. Uh, really liked, liked the, some of the mechanics, like you had two guys and then the, the guy in the back with the spear, he can also join the fight but he can be can be attacked and stuff like that. So really fun rules and I've been looking to the armies a couple of weeks ago already and then yeah the murder army uh, so the, the Sauron's army really really appeals to me so I decided to order a few boxes of plastics and um, some metals on eBay like I already said and then uh, start working on this army which I will show you very soon like I said all the stuff is still in the mail it's on, on its way I expect it later this week or early next week and then I will surely show it here to you on YouTube or uh, on my blog on my website you can also join in on that adventure so in the meantime like I said working on finishing this batch of 20 uh, chaos dudes age of Sigmar so what I'm currently working on is this just painting all all the areas black that need to be black and also which are going to be the metallics so stuff like the weapons and, and stuff like that and doing this on 20 meters is really soaking up a lot of time I think it takes me 
15 minutes to do one guy depending on how much like this this guy has his straps on his chest it really takes takes a lot of time to do this neatly so just do all the surfaces in black most of the remaining surfaces and highlight the gray put on the metallics and then some details here and there so i think i will be spending at least another week uh, finishing up this quad and then uh, i can slowly start working on the lord of the rings army there's still quite a lot of miniatures left here in from the age of sigmar set but uh, as you might uh, recognize there's still uh, still some other projects to look forward to um, that's all for this vlog entry. I hope you've all also been painting a lot lately. Uh, please tell me in the comment section what you've been up to and see you in one of the next videos. Bye!